Jamba juice, y'all. We we have been under the weather. We really can't eat any solid foods. We don't feel good at all. And green apple. Look at our smoothies. Keys getting our smoothies now for us. Which one is mine? All righty. Guys, I got my smoothie. looking like <laughs> we're recording oh, yeah. so we gotta do our little thing what up what up what up double m's it's your boy keys and it's your girl mandy ew, ew. and we're back yep <laughs> 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 we sit man <laughs> with another video 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 yeah <laughs> <laughs> and this time we're doing jumbo juice jumbo juice how many of you guys enjoy jumbo juice they have them in the airports here in orlando and we always wanted to try them um i have the green apple and i got the um uh, mm. green ginger something that got mango peach uh ginger kale and lemon these are really good mines have mango peach banana um i think it has it has apple and i forgot what else they put in it but you can go to mm. their website jamba.com and um look at their menu um these smoothies are really good we wanted a green smoothie y'all we can't even I ain't been eating uh, at all Needed something to soothe my throat. Usually, you'll want something like hot. Just right? want it something cool. It's hot out here. Yeah, it's hot, and the temperature is constantly changing here in Florida, y'all, which causes you to get sick. Um, <clears throat> we were in the temperature where it was warm. We then went to visit our family um, in Panama City, who were affected by the hurricane, of course. And the town is still, you know, in the um, stages of trying to clean up. So we just went to visit and the temperature dropped there you know it's kind of cool there and your body going in not these different temperatures your body just can't adjust to all of that and then i ended up getting an upper respiratory infection <coughs> i have a really bad cough and a runny nose all in my forehead down in my nose i can just feel the congestion and the pain and so i'm waiting to go get my script from CVS because Publix didn't have the medication that I needed. They claim they've had it on back order for four months. And hubby's sick. It's just, uh, we just been under the weather, y'all. That's a really good smoothie. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, juicy. <laughs> juicy been, juice. Yeah, I've been trying to sort mine out, but sometimes you can't work out or do stuff like that because your pores be open it up opened up and you make things a little bit worse so because sometimes you reintroduce more bacteria into your body <coughs> touching equipment you know we try to wipe stuff down but these gyms don't always have wipes available mm. and we keep our own wipes we keep us some clorox wipes from dollar tree in the car yep. We keep them in the car at the house. We keep, we keep them in, in the, the little band. studio when we do the um mook bongs. We keep them everywhere. We keep these everywhere. You guys, these things are only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I buy at least like seven or eight of these. And they last a long time, don't they, babe? They last a while. Like we wipe the steering wheel down and just we just you know, we just we just real particular about those things because we do work in the medical field and you can get sick easily going in and out of hospitals around patients patients coughing you know you don't even realize when somebody sneezed and that sneeze hit the table if they had a cold that cold lives on the surface for two weeks you go over there and touch it touch yourself in the face so you know you you're had, done you had a person laughing at me at work because I, I i pulled the 
on my break, I pulled out uh, uh, the Lysol Clorox wipes. And then I used the Clorox wipe and I used uh, the Sandy wipes from the work at the hospital. The hospital, yeah. And I'm wiping the tables down before um, I put my bag and take my little food out my bag. I had a salad. And um, they laughing at me. Yeah, you can laugh, but I ain't, I ain't finna sit down uh, on these dirty little, little chairs and uh, eat my food at the dirt, man. Some dirty people, man. But it's gonna show you how they truly live. And these are people working in the hospital taking care of you. <laughs> Mm -mm. Got some dirty people. Mm -hmm. Don't wash their hands. That's the one thing I'm big on. I'm big on hand washing, keeping hand sanitizer close by, Clorox wipes, and the hospital grade Sandy wipes. I always wipe down my area. I never start my shift without wiping down my area. I wipe down the area. I wipe down the keyboard. I wipe down the chair. I even cover the chair with a towel. Honey, I go I go to the nines. Anybody who's ever worked with me know how I get down. They will tell you, okay, it smells cleaner. Have you been in here cleaner? Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to tell you what else I used to do. I used to bring me one of them little clear bottles. You know how you buy them little bottles, um, those little sample bottles from uh, Walmart when you want to put your shampoo or conditioner in them? Honey, I get me a couple of them bottles, okay? And I will put pine saw in one of those bottles and, you know, put um, a couple, you know, tabs of bleach or something in there. I mean... <laughs> Honey, have it smelling extra clean. They be like, oh my God, you've been in clean it. Just to take it a little step. See these little things like this? You take these to work and stick them right beside you. Um, your little your little station. <laughs> and just your little area be smelling good. You a mess. <laughs> I don't go that far now. And people like, oh, you got it smelling really nice in here. So they try to move your stuff out the way when you go uh, taking uh, care of your patients, doing vitals and stuff. All I do is go. You slip your little thing out the way and go to another little spot. <laughs> oh my goodness! So. And you know what's so crazy, y'all? Because you know, yeah, they have these MSDS books, which are the material um, safety data sheets. So you basically can't be using any products in the hospital or facility that yep. <laughs> is not in their books. I get it, but honey, please. Cause it, I'm sorry. You walk in, you just coming on shelf, and it smell like the old folks' home. Mm -mm. Like you don't, you don't change. Yeah, home. You, like you don't, you don't turn. Something smell like you don't change the hundred baby pampers. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> he be cutting up, y'all. So, but I want y'all to get one of these juices, though. These are really good. You know, I feel really good drinking this. And sometimes you need to get something like this anyway, just to get your veggies in. Because some people don't eat enough veggies, man. I'm telling you. That's one thing I like about my husband. He always trying to, you know, order. If you go out to eat or something, he always makes sure you get some veggies to go with his meal. Yeah. So okay. I'll try to get me a salad or asparagus or something because, you know, I know he do that. You know, you got to have vegetables, y'all. You got to. And this is how you get your fiber in, too. You need your greens. You remember that guy and I was asking him how this, these smoothies taste? He was like, he don't like nothing with vegetables and greens in like that. Mm -mm. Well... You might need to try it out. <laughs> Cause this this has what kale in it. The greens that it has the kale. Um, I think spinach and other things they offer in there. I mean, it's also, like it's really same good. Same thing. Is that same thing when a person saying, "Oh, I just can't drink water." Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't understand, man. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Yep. You got somebody who can't stand water. I had a friend like that. She said she didn't like drinking water. She's like, give me anything but some water. I'm like, hmm. Until she got a um, UTI. Mm -hmm. And um, the doctor told her that she had to lay off the um, sodas and drink um, more water. And he told her she drink a soda. She used to drink a bottle of water before. 
then drink the soda, and then drink a bottle of water after. And you know most people ain't gonna do that. That's too many fluids. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta start thinking about your health, man. Your health is your wealth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It ain't nothing for me. That one's gone. Lemon, cucumber, kale, a green apple. Look at here, show me yours. And some ginger. It's gone, y'all. Look, look at that. He got about that. <laughs> he don't play around. He like this kind of stuff. I do too. And that's what makes a marriage really good because there are probably some things that you really weren't in tune with or you weren't doing prior to getting your relationship that now the other person has, you know, encouraged you or basically inspired you to start doing. And, and it's good when you get, you pick up healthy habits from each other. It's good. You know, like hubby don't know how to, you know, hubby's not computer savvy like that, but he can learn with, you know, with the things that I do know. He, I'm not all all into the you know, health and wellness as much, but with his help, I've been able to, you know, lose weight. I've been able to um, learn about what benefits of certain foods help me, things like that, and start making just better choices, you know? Because sometimes, some of this food out here, man, I truly believe in having hormones in it, and it make you feel sluggish. Like some stuff you yeah. eat and it's like it puts you down like a sleep aid. Like I'm like, what the heck? Uh-uh. Yeah. You see them, them people be loving. They got the little bowls in there too. We're going to try both of y'all. Yeah, acai. The little acai bowls and different kind of bowls. And them things look good too. Mm -hmm. I seen, I just seen somebody pass mm -hmm. by with one that looked it good. Mm -hmm. And this is nice to have on a hot day. It fills you up. It gets your greens in, your fiber, and your fruits. Mm. So you just got a whole big old serving of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. This was good. Mm -hmm. that, that ginger and that lemon kind of kind of woke me up. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I was uh, training one of the guys that's a director for the Orlando area for Jamba Juice. Mm. We get some coupons from him then. <laughs> some free juices. <laughs> yep. I'm glad we finally tried it though, y'all. I enjoyed this. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, you usually she wasn't finished one. She finished it though. Yeah, I like that. It was cause it, and I think I like this. I think I was able to drink this one so much too because it was more loose than a smoothie would have been. Smoothie would have been yeah. thick and creamy. They didn't put all that yogurt in it, and that would have made it. Yeah. You know, this one. This didn't have yogurt. You in seen it. you seen the veg, veggies. You seen the fruit. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was it. Yep, that was it. They juiced it down, so that was good. Well, Double M's, we hope you love this video. Yep, we just wanted to give you a little bit of what we was doing throughout the day. Yeah. Feeling a little under the weather, but we still on it. And we're going to start making videos for you guys. We love you. You guys have been emailing us, telling us about different things you got going on. We so appreciate it. Anybody got a question, anybody going through something, just know you can always privately email us and we'll answer you privately. And then we'll discuss what you asked us on our channel, but without revealing who told us what. You know, we would yeah. never do that. Uh, we're gonna constantly help each other, so that's right. We're gonna be coming with uh, coming to y'all with some uh, some good topics, mm -hmm. and let's figure this stuff out together. Everybody, and, and, and listen, next week it's gonna be a lituation, honey. Y'all ain't even ready for next week. Next week gonna be we're gonna be the bomb, ain't it? <coughs> oh yeah. I don't know when we're gonna be posting those videos, but we're gonna be definitely doing a lot of filming for y'all next week. <laughs> yeah, we're we going to carry y'all on along for the ride. Some of them, ain't nobody worrying about the And you know what? Shout out to my brother, one of my brothers, yeah. Jimmy, who said that my owl is annoying and that he's one, he wants me to do something different. No, honey, I'm me, boo -boo. I'm me, boo -boo, okay? Jimmy, Jimmy, get into it. Ew, ew, nah, nah. And anybody else don't like it, nah. <laughs> we love you guys make sure you thumbs up the videos thumbs up Bomb. the videos hit us in the comments you know we're gonna talk right back to you 
make sure you hit that one, baby. That bell. Bing! So you can be notified of all the content, all the videos that we have in store for you. Until the next time, Double Lens. We'll see you in our next video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>